<laughs> but yeah. My thing is, could you tell us a bit more about Tito? Because I mean, like some of the other characters, we get a bit of an idea about them because of where they're hanging out. The only thing we really get to know about Tito, though, other than like what they briefly say when you spare them, is I'm all poked up, which <laughs> sort of no, told me this I was, like I lower was... class thing. Okay, okay. When when it was top down. Uh, Hito had a mechanic that he was the only boss that affected everything outside of his room. Normally, when oh, it was still top down, he yes, he would be sniping uh, pretty much all around the manor as long as you're outside. And uh, you would be able to see exactly where it's coming from, right? And uh, that was an idea that I couldn't execute in this because it looked just really weird in, in, the, in this perspective, you know. Uh, that would have given you a huge motivation to go to get that him, yeah, show. to deal with him. So uh, I kind of love that, love that in in the few games it appears where where you know a boss is shooting outside of their room. You know, snipers should be yeah. like that, in my opinion. That's the best way to have a sniper fight. You know, the that, uh, the, the off screen flames in in Bowser's castle. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Sniper wolf, man. Sniper wolf. Yeah, but even, even, uh, like, there's one thing I will do in Usurper, and that is the sniper fight there will be an entire massive area. Oh, they're actually a similar sniper fight. Thank you. Yes. There we go. <laughs> well, no, no spoilers. I'm not going to say, well, it's a sniper. I didn't say it's a human or, or it's a monster, or because the one thing I want for Usurper is the, the variety is, is mm, huge. Because as much as I love the setting, I had to make the, you know, the whole uh, seasonal changes between the areas. One to highlight uh, highlight the differences between the areas so that people can figure out how to map out the the, the manor, but also because I wanted variety. Because as, as much as I love a manor, even for four hours it gets boring, you know. One location doesn't last longer than two hours in my opinion in any game. You know, one set yeah. of, uh, you know, it, it, one toned, I would say, one toned area, you know, one toned location, you know, even even the best horror games, you know, they either have very variety to it, like in Resident Evil, for example, after a while you go into a lab and that's a completely different kind of feeling have to it, like you know, a different biomes in a way. Yes. Yeah. Like yeah, that I had to do that. But in Usurper, there's like or uh, there's 14 different areas that are completely different. You know, they, they feel very different because the citadels are, are a mass of different races and, and entities and stuff like that. And they all have their own little habitats and, and what they what they need to even survive, you know, because they're a bunch of different aliens from all over mythologies and stuff like that. And they have to hang out in, in one one rock floating in space. So <laughs> it's going to be much more of a... It, it will have much more variety in enemies and places and everything. <sighs> Good stuff. <clears throat> oh man, man, and just chilling out near my grave. It, see, the one thing I find a little bit sad is just, uh, and this is one of my biggest gripes, honestly, is there's so much dialogue you can miss in this game. Yeah, I kind of feel bad loss. about it. Cause it's but at like the same I was time... Waiting I was hoping that someone would like do a data dump of it at one point. I've considered doing it. It's just it would yeah. require. The thing it. is, this is what I mean is that I could do that if it was done like Usurper, <laughs> because as I said, the 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 whole dialogue is broken up into a total of uh, hundred and two objects, <laughs> ah. or even more actually. So I literally couldn't do that. <laughs> I literally couldn't do that without spending like days on it. Because I have to go to every room, every little object, every little vi variety of it, you know, every sanity level of it and stuff like that. So, yeah. yeah. As much as I would love to do that, I can't. Hey, hey, if you, if you get a bigger following, someone might. Someone might. I mean, people Maybe. are crazy. Uh, everything involving Gaster, for instance, has just people doing crazy stuff involving data mining. Actually, is there anything that is specifically like a data mine only secret in either this or a surfer? Uh, 
Yeah, what you could data mine is how terrible my typing is outside of the code. <laughs> uh, you could also find a lot of swearing in the code that is Wait, actually really? there. Yeah. No, there's like stuff like, remember this idiot and stuff like that. There's a lot of that. <laughs> like there's a lot of highlighting going on so that when I come back to it, like later, much like later. It's, notes, it's grumpy notes to yourself to like. Yes. Uh, but for, for <laughs> Usurper, I actually did do that. I actually, there's messages to data miners specifically about certain things because there are secrets in it that I don't want revealed through that by any chance. If, if it ever occurs, you know, I don't want certain things revealed in certain ways. Like it's okay to put, post it on, on those kind of forums, but I just don't want certain stuff to cir uh, surface because there will be some obscure stuff in it that will be actually hard to get. And I want it to stay like that. I don't want it to, you know, like, oh, this is how you get it. Instantly written somewhere. <laughs> yeah, the thing you have to understand, you have to understand about Steve is that um, he, doesn't like to name files properly. <laughs> uh, okay. So okay. Yeah. It's not so bad now. I will give you credit for that. Um, but when I sent him something. It's like a bunch of keystrokes, random. It's literally like, like five thousand letter A's and then like a B at the end or something. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, no, oh, so it's like the uh, like the way the one room is spelled. I'm trying to remember what it's called. <laughs> The uh, obscure geometry room. How it's spelled? Oh, here we go. I'm at ten health and Gray is at like three hits away. Wow. Come on. J just you can do it. Fucking run into my sword, <laughs> you ass. Yeah, our mo our motto at Crit Hit is uh, adversity in the face of persistence. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You did it, G. <laughs> and then I just smacked him once out of spite. Yeah. See? <laughs> no. Did you die? I walked into the spike right outside the boss room. Valiantly <laughs> 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 uh. have no health <laughs> items, just ten health, and I just walk out of the boss room into spike, and I'm just like. That's yep. a real kick in the teeth. Uh... Yep. It's like the brilliance of this game. Uh... Evil. I know. So good. So good. Yeah, I've, I found um, some old files. Um, and here's an example of the title of the file. Uh, K-I-N-H-T-Y-J-T-Y-J-U. And that's the file name. And I don't know what the hell that's meant to be. But there we are. Well, it's it's pretty obvious. It's a file that I had to send you on the spot. <laughs> I, I mean, it's actually better than what like Sean sends me because he sends me like files of like, "Hey, dumbass," or worse. And I'll just be like, "Read this, you jerk." And, oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that's a huge one. Uh, the, oh god, the Salsa Okay, so d do me a favor, guys. When our Salsa Sanctuary series comes out, watch that, because there's just this entry point that Sean is so proud of that. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, no, th there's a reason I cheer when he dies in games, and it's because he, like. <laughs> he, he earns it. There's a long-rooted kind of satisfaction of uh, him messing up because of something that he might have done previously. Just some stupid thing that he two said. Years or... ago, two years ago when he's still holding the grudge. <laughs> I... You know what, though? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Not even, though, because of that, but also because you proceed to do it again and you're like, I don't know what you're talking about as you're, like, killing me. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I play a lot with Gem and uh, mm. you watch that. Um, yeah, I'm a troll. <laughs> yeah, the video is out there for you to find. Let's put it that way. Uh, you have my deepest sympathy, Jam. Uh, <laughs> Although, to be fair, I do it back sometimes. So. Yeah, he does it back. And that's that's the most unexpected times, and that's. That's when it really, it really is fine for me. I, I mean, See, he, does, he doses it out. He doses it out much better than I do. 
This sounds like you don't, you never expect it. Like me and Sean. Sean just is an irreverent troll. Well, if what my trap placement, if my trap placement is any indication, I am a troll then. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> There's every, literally every spike in this game, I think I hit once. <laughs> There's uh, one a but, of which them is in the very homes I avoided because they're highlighted with blood, thankfully. <laughs> like pretty much every I'm pretty sure in the playthrough we recorded, pretty much every time I walked out into one of the courtyards, I was hitting the same spike every time. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty great. I was just the best thing to is, like mosey along. Best thing is that Steve would do that to himself as well. He just yeah. walks into every spike he places. Brilliant, well, I love he, it. He placed them in what? The spots he. Oh my god, ow. Yeah, the, the spots I knew. Because I was backing up from an enemy and fighting it, and then I backed up into the spike. <laughs> oh, 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 that'll get you. Oh, yeah, that, I, I was like, no, 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 because it's like the axe guy, too. So, like, if he lands on you, that's like half your health gone. Oh, uh, just, uh, it's on the topic, really much, pretty much, so, in Usurper, one of the areas is, um, a torture area, so, you know, a trap, trap field torture area, basically, which is designed to stop anyone from progressing any further, so if, if, if you like Sims Fortress in Dark Souls 1, well, that was, that was cute. It. I haven't played oh. I'm a heathen, I know. No, no, no! It's it's just you have to. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> even Jem started. Even Jem tried to play it with me. Co-op. Uh, I, mean, I want to play it, and I'm going to probably end up playing it co-op with Sean at some point. That'll be that'll be great. But I, I think we did a couple of videos on it, but yeah, I don't know really. how many. Uh, our 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 our, our co-op experience together is uh, troublesome. <laughs> I, I mean, we learn. But I mean, a lot of that learning comes through blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, Literally. And also, like any game that has friendly fire, it, it it'll start out as intentional, and then it stops being intentional. But it doesn't help. We're still dying. I think that comes up first as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we have to get it out of our system at first, because he'll like do something, and then I'll do it back. And it just becomes the most childish. That that's a pretty good description of it, yeah, Sean. <laughs> I mean, I think this is just what happens when you have uh, teams. You're like, I'm gonna be a dick real quick. <laughs> Actually, though, here's my thing. Do you, since you've like hit into the Metroidvania and the sort of Dark Souls like mm -hmm. genre really nicely? Uh, is the third game going to be like a complete Far Cry from those, or...? Uh, I really shouldn't talk about it, because if I get too much into it, then, then I get too much no, no, too I much into just, it again. Just to um, no, one no, thing, no, the genre. no, no, okay. In very short, uh, it will be a top-down exploration game, and every fight will work out like a duel. Ooh. That's all I'm saying about it. it, it okay. So it's it more will... methodical combat. Okay, imagine, uh, imagine a Pokemon game that isn't a Pokemon game, but that when you you know you touch an enemy, instead of a turn-based fight, you get something akin to a Pokemon system, but more like a duel. Persona. <laughs> no, 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 no. One v one. No, that was just a joke because it's like no, no, no. Persona, the Pokemon game that isn't Pokemon. Yeah, but as in not the collecting part, but how the Pokemon battle systems look. Oh. Imagine that with actual people and monsters. So you know, uh, I'm I'm going for that. It's it's gonna be a very different genre, but yeah, it's it will be a top down perspective in that way. Ish horror ish, I think. So less. I know the story the for it, but. Surfer. Uh, like around the, around the same around the same as Usurper. Usurper is is uh, horror themed instead of like trying to be anything horror, you know. Because I mean, this game's actually I think it, it it actually hit the horror thing pretty well. 
which well it's definitely horrifying <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible no having, i've seen having like vietnam flashbacks of this game uh, of the like coding process and then going through the coding oh no it's not even that the coding was all right it's just uh how, how I, now i look at it and i'm like oh i want to hang it hang the <laughs> old me onto a tree and, and just leave him there for a while I to mean, think. I can hang out near one of those trees where there's people hung on them. <laughs> yeah, actually, that would be fine. And Don't they worry. are stuck to the tree with your swords, by the way. Yeah, I noticed that. I, yeah. I was like, either yours or Gray's, and I figured it was probably mine, because you start seeing, like, versions Corpses of yourself, of yourself yeah. in royal garb, which I assume yep. was, like, the uh, foreshadowing to... Yeah, there was a lot of there was a lot of foreshadowing. I it, I about the you know the queen yeah, and life, that, the face. It's like we were well, yeah, like the, the, yeah, the statues, pictures. the paintings, and like Sean didn't actually like the first playthrough. He didn't pick through as much of the story because he was just going through and not checking out the stuff. But then he actually started checking out the stuff. And the game just opened up to him, and it just clicked with him once he actually started pursuing the story. 